What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be analyzing Sensionics ticker symbol SENS. They just announced a massive catalyst for the company, and this catalyst could either provide a lot of bullishness in the stock or it could send the stock going lower. So we're going to go over exactly what we need to expect out of Sensionics once this catalyst happens, and we are going to go over a more short-term catalyst that is going to be happening this week and what we can expect from that as well. We're also going to be taking a look at some of the institutional ownership again for Sensionics. There's a lot of interesting things that we need to dive into when taking a look at the institutional ownership of Sensionics. So before we get into all of that information, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you go down and hit that like button and hit the subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. Thank you to the 3,100 of you that have already turned on that notification bell. If you guys could just go down and turn on that bell, uh, you guys will get notified every time I post a new video. So you get to stay up to date on all of your favorite stocks, learn about a couple of new ones and see exactly which options I am trading and which strategies I am using to trade them. So over the last week, Sensionics is up about 20%, but we did see a little bit of a sell-off in the last couple of trading days this week. Now, I think that this is going to be a very good day to buy for Sensionics, and we're going to go over exactly why I think that is later in this video. Now, let's take a look at the institutional ownership for Sensionics. If we take a look over here, we can see that Soros Fund Management, headed by the famous investor George Soros, he is a very controversial individual, and he owns a very substantial position in Sensionics, about 12.2% million shares, which is a very large amount. Now, if we come down a little bit further, we can see a couple other uh, institutions have very large positions. Uh, we can see Vanguard Group has about 7.2 million shares. We can see that VTSMX, which is currently closed to outside investment from the public, uh, has a position of about 4.6 million shares. Now, if you take a look at anything highlighted in green, these are newly initiated positions in Sensionics. So we can see uh, that Citadel Advisors uh, just initiated a new position. That's everybody's favorite institution right now. We can see that the California Public Employees Retirement System also has a position of about 113,000 shares, and they have also taken a very bullish position in NEO. So this fund, the California Public Employees Retirement System Fund, uh, is basically uh, a fund that funds retirement, as it says in the title, but they do take a lot of aggressive trading positions. So if you guys want to learn more about what they are holding, you can look up their 13F filings and analyze their companies. Now, uh, when you do that, you're going to see that they own a massive amount of companies, uh, but you can go in and pick some of the ones that you like and some of the ones that you have not heard of before. The California Public Employees Retirement System is a good source to figure out some of the next big growth stocks. So the biggest catalyst that Sensionics has coming up, and they just finalized the date for when this is going to be happening, is going to be Sensionics fourth quarter and full year 2020 earnings release. And this is now scheduled for March 4th, 2021 at 4.30 p.m. Eastern time. So Sensionics, a medical technology company focused on the development and commercialization of long-term implantable continuous glucose monitoring systems for di uh, people with diabetes. Diabetes. So essentially what they do is they have a little device that you get a small, uh, pretty non-invasive surgery and it gets placed under your skin and it continuously monitors the glucose levels of people with diabetes. So this is a very uh, good advancement in the field of diabetes. You don't have to really prick your finger all the time and you can actually monitor your glucose from an app on your phone. Now, a little bit later in this video, we're going to go over exactly what we need to see out of Sensionics earnings report and earnings conference call in order for it to keep going to the upside. But first, let's take a look at some of the estimates that the analysts have put out for Sensionics earnings. So if we come over here, we can see that Sensionics is going to be reporting their earnings on March 4th, and the consensus estimate for the EPS is negative 11 cents. So we can see over the past couple of quarters that Sensionics 
business has not been able to make a profit. Now, in the fourth quarter of 2020, uh, Sensionix was actually using a different distributor for their Eversense uh, systems. And now in the first quarter of 2021, they have switched over to Essentia and they are now handling the distribution. So in the uh, guidance in the conference call, I think we are going to hear a lot about the actual plans for distribution of the Eversense product with their new prov distribution provider, Essentia. What's great in my opinion about Sensionix at the current time and also serves as a massive catalyst that could send Sensionix going way higher in the near future, I think that Sensionix is going to explode in the rest of 2021. I think we could see it going over the $10 price point, but what this massive event is, is their pending FDA approval for their 180-day continuous glucose monitoring system, the Eversense XL, in the United States. So the 90-day model is already being distributed and sold to customers at the current time in the U.S. In Europe, Essentia has already started the distribution of the 180-day model in key markets. Uh, we can go take a look at that uh, a little bit later in this video, but there are a lot of countries that uh, Essentia is distributing Sensionix ever since XL2. What this means is that Europe has already approved uh, Sensionix 180-day continuous glucose monitoring system, and that to me strongly suggests that even with this delay in the FDA approval process due to the pandemic, Sensionix will be getting this FDA approval by the end of quarter two, 2021. So that is one of the main things that we need to really listen for in Sensionix earnings call. We're going to need to hear them talk about uh, the any conversations that they've had in communications with the FDA on when they expect the 180-day approval to happen. Now, we've been talking about in this video the 90-day ever since and the 180-day ever since, but Sensionix has mentioned that they are working on a model that is going to be lasting a year. If we come over to this article, we can see the Germantown and MD-based company said it submitted a PMA application for the 180-day indication. Sensionix is working on getting a 365-day version of the Eversense continuous glucose monitoring system approved by the FDA. I think we could see uh, a submission of an application for this system by the end of 2021 or the end of the first quarter of 2022. The reason for this is that we are going to see Sensionix get their 180-day model into the hands of a lot of individuals who would find it beneficial. And if those individuals are like, uh, we need more range, we don't really want to uh, be getting this system taken out uh, twice a year, they will start really ramping up their research and development and maybe even the production of their 365-day version. Now, if they end up getting this product sooner than expected, the Sensionics is going to go absolutely insane. And I think we could see it get into the European market first, similar to what we are seeing with the 180-day version of their Eversense continuous glucose monitoring system. So for Sensionix, I think it is very possible that we see a pretty substantial earnings run up to their earnings event on March 4th. Now, the reason for this is that a lot of inv investors will be piling into the stock, expecting them to beat their earnings estimates that we have gone over earlier in this video. We also have this pretty significant dip in Sensionix that I think a lot of investors will find attractive and will want to buy. In my opinion, this is a good dip to buy for Sensionix. Now, nothing I say in these videos is financial advice, but I would consider buying this dip if you already have established a Sensionix position. In addition to Sensionix's massive earnings catalyst that I think we could see either a massive run-up in share price or we are going to see a sell-off, which I think will be a further dip that we could consider buying, Sensionix is also participating in a massive conference this week. So if we come over here, we can see that Sensionix Holdings, a medical technology company focused on the development and commercialization of long-term implantable continuous glucose monitoring systems for people with diabetes, today announced plans to participate in the upcoming virtual SVB Learing Global Healthcare Conference. Management is scheduled to present Thursday, February 25th, 2021 at 12 p.m. Eastern Time. Interested parties may access a live and recorded webcast of the presentation on the investor relations section of the company's website, so sensionics.com. This is going to be a very big event, in my opinion. As we've seen with BioNanogenomics, in every single conference and event that we've had, they 
always release some sort of good news article or a study on how their sapphire is the, the best in its class and nothing else compares. I think we are going to see very similar things come out of Sensionix. The management is going to be, uh, in my opinion, pumping up uh, how great Sensionix ever since continuous glucose monitoring systems are. So I think we could see a massive bounce off of these lows in the coming week and maybe a little bit of a run up into this event. So that is going to be it for this update on Sensionix, ticker symbol S-E-N-S. -E if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you go down and hit that like button and hit the subscribe button and turn on that notification bell if you want to be notified every time I post a new video so you get to stay up to date on all of your favorite stocks, learn about a couple of new ones, and see exactly which options I am trading and which strategies I am using to trade them. I am also working on a Discord for you guys, so we're going to try to get that up and running as soon as possible. So I hope you guys are having a great weekend, and I'll see you guys in the next video.